21st anniversary dinner. We have a beautiful cake over there, which we're going to ask our esteemed guest, Mr. Pollard, to cut later. We are make, we're doing a book, a publication, and we would like as many people as possible before John cuts the cake at the end of the meal, before we have our coffee, to gather around the cake and Tony's going to squeeze us all in and get a shot of as many of us as we possibly can get.
I just want to say a few words because when I worked with the archive all those years ago, uh, I found it was an amazing place. And the uh, most amazing thing was that they welcomed me even though I came from across the bar. And you'll note that the uh, joy of this golf club is that when it is light, you get a great view of hail. Right? I just want to say two things. The first is that I think all of you need to take a moment of real self-satisfaction, because the fact that this archive has grown and thrived and existed in the way it does is a great tribute to all your work. So well done to St. Ives Archive. I'm sure everybody looks forward to the next 21 years. And I hope you agree with me that there's only one person in this room who deserves to cut the 21st anniversary cake. Yes. Janet, please. Janet. Now, 42 slices. I'm sure that's fine, Joe. I'm sure that's fine. Thank you very much indeed. Well, can I just say a couple of words? Because I think that probably the only other person in this room who was around when we started was Greta. Although Greta wasn't a volunteer, we were in the library together, weren't we, Greta? And I, I think that... Days when the library welcomed us so warmly, and um, and it's been marvellous having a succession of more and more people joining us. I actually feel quite kind of strange about it, really, thinking about what we've all achieved. And thanks very much to all of you because you're absolutely brilliant, and I think we've got the the best archive ever. <laughs>